Hi kids, welcome back to the class. So kids, today we are going to start chapter number 11, active and passive voice. So let's start. See the picture and write one more sentence for each in the first sentence. The subject and object are clear and, and in second sentence, the object has become the subject and the subject has become the object. The boy is eating mango. The dash is being eaten by the dash. The girl is singing a song. The dash is being sung by the dash. So do it by yourself. Now let's begin with part A, active and passive voice. A transitive verb has two voices. First active voice, second passive voice. Now kids, read the following sentences. Neha painted the entire house. What is the action performed? Painting. What is the subject of the verb painted? Yes, you guessed it right. It's Neha. Who performs the action of painting? It's also Neha. So, in this sentence, the subject of the verb also performs the action mentioned in the verb. This sentence, therefore, is said to be in the active voice. When the subject is in the doer of an action, it is said to be in the active voice. Now, students, Read the following sentences. The entire house was painted by Neha. What is the action performed? Painting. What is the subject of the verb painted? The entire house. Does the subject perform the action of painting? No. Instead, the subject, the entire house, receives the action of painting. We know that it is Neha who performs the action. Hence, this sentence is said to be in the passive voice. Students, when the subject of a verb receives the action, the sentence is said to be in passive voice. Now part B, rules to change sentences from active to passive. The object of the verb in the active voice becomes the subject of the verb in the passive voice. The subject of the verb in the active voice becomes a proportional phrase in the passive voice. By plus the active subject. The verb in the active voice changes into a suitable auxiliary plus past participle form. So, since the object of the verb in the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice, it follows that only transitive verbs can be used in the passive voice because an intransitive verb has no object. Now, let's move on to the part C, change of pronouns. Pronouns are changed in the following manner in the passive voice. Here is the table. Subject in the passive voice. Object in the passive voice by agent phrase. I, me, we, us. You, you. He, him. She, her. It, it. They, them. Now next is detransitive verbs. When the verb. Now D. Detransitive verbs. When the verb in the active voice is detransitive, there are two forms in the passive voice. Let's see the example. She gave me a pen. Active. Indirect object. Direct object. I was given a pen by her. Or a pen was given to me by her. Passive. Normally, the first form is preferred. Now, next is verbs followed by prepositions. Active verbs followed by Prepositions retain them when they are converted into passive voice. Example, he did not look at me. Active, I was not looked at by him. Passive. Next is interrogative sentences. When interrogative sentences are changed into passive voice, they retain their interrogative form. Here are the examples. Do I eat rice? Active. Is ice eaten by you? Passive. Now, Part G, simple present. First, we play football. Active. Football is played by us. Passive. Do we play football? Active. Is football played by us? Passive. Who plays football? Active. By whom is football played? Passive. Who is football played by? Passive. So student, in simple present tense, active voice, root form of the verb, sometimes with S or ES, eat, play. Passive voice is R am plus past participle of the verb is M are eaten is am are played. Now students, 
filling the blanks with the passive form of the verbs given in the brackets in simple present tense. First, English is spoken by Anish. In this way, do the rest by yourself. Now kids, change the following sentences from active to passive voice. First, my mother makes delicious cookies. So it will be delicious cookies are made by my mother. So in this way, change the all sentences by yourself. Now next is simple past. First, Leah accepted the invitation. Active. The invitation was accepted by Leah. Passive. Next. Did she tell a story? Active. Was a story told by her? Passive. Third. Who answered the questions? Active. By whom were the questions answered? Passive. Who were the questions answered by? Passive. Students, in simple past tense, active voice, past tense form of the verb. Accepted. Told. Passive voice. Was verb plus past participle form of the verb was accepted, was told, were accepted. Now, filling the blanks with passive voice form of the verbs given in the brackets in simple past tense. First, my car was stolen by a thief. So, in this way, do the rest by yourself. Now, kids, change the following sentences from active to passive voices. First, the teacher corrected the mistakes. So, it will be the mistakes were corrected by the teacher. So, students, do the rest sentences by yourself. Now, next part is simple future tense. Meghna will solve the puzzle. Active. The puzzle will be solved by Meghna. Passive. Next is, when will he pay the fee? Active. When will the fee be paid by him? Passive. In simple future tense, active voice, shall, will, plus root form of the verb, will solve, will pay. Passive voice, shall be, plus will be, plus past participle form of the verb, will be solved, will be vacated. Change the following sentences into passive voice. First, Rani will invite Rahul to the party. So it will be, Rahul will be invited to the party by Rani. So in this way, do the rest sentences by yourself. Now next is present continuous tense. First, my mother is writing a letter. A letter is being written by my mother. Are they discussing the problems? Are the problems being discussed by them? Why are you washing the car? Why is the car being washed by you? So students, in present continuous tense, active voice is are, am plus ing form of the verb is writing, are discussing, is washing, is are, am, plus being, plus past participle form of the verb. Passive voice is being written, are being discussed. Now students, change the following sentences into passive voice. First, he is driving a car. So it will be, a car is being driven by him. So in this way, do the rest by yourself. Next is, future continuous tense. Verbs in the future continuous tense cannot be expressed in the passive voice. Next is present perfect tense. He has paid the bill. Active. The bill has been paid by him. Passive. Who has opened the door? Active. By whom has the door been opened? Passive. Or who has the door been opened by? Passive. In present perfect tense, active voice has have plus past participle form of the verb has paid, has opened, passive, has been, plus have been, plus past participle form of the verb, has been paid, has been opened. Now students, change the following sentences from active to passive voice. First, they have finished the job. So it will be, the job has been finished by them. So students, do you understand? Do the rest sentences by yourselves. Now, next part is past perfect tense. She had bought a car. A car had been bought by her. Who had solved the puzzle? By whom had the puzzle been solved? Who had the puzzle been solved by? In past perfect tense, active voice had plus past participle form of the verb had bought, had solved. Passive voice had been plus past participle form of the verb had been bought, had been solved. Now students, Change the following sentences into passive voice. First, he had eaten breakfast. So it will be, 
breakfast had been eaten by him. So in this way, do the rest by yourself. Now, future perfect tense. She will have eaten her dinner. Active. Her dinner will have been eaten by her. Passive. Will he have sold the house? Active. Will the house have been sold by him? Passive. In future perfect tense, active voice will, shall, plus have, plus past participle form of the verb. Will have eaten, will have sold. Passive voice will, shall, plus have been, plus past participle form of the verb. Will have been eaten, will have been sold. Now students, change the following sentences from active to passive voice. First, she will have learnt her lesson. So it will be, the lesson will have been learnt by her. So in this way, you have to do the rest sentences. Now, perfect continuous tenses. Verbs in the perfect continuous tense cannot be expressed in the passive voice. Next is, models. Can, could, may, might, should, would, must, ought to. First, he can drive a bike. Active. A bike can be driven by him. Passive. She may eat a mango. Active. A mango may be eaten by her. Passive. You should buy this watch. Active. This watch should be bought by you. Passive. You ought to help her. Active. She ought to be helped by you. Passive. So students, with models, active voice, model auxiliary plus root form of use verb, can drive, may eat, should buy. Passive voice, model auxiliary plus be plus past participle form of the verb, can be driven, may be eaten, should be bought. Now students, change the following sentences from active voice to passive voice. First, you must learn this lesson. This lesson must be learned by you. In this way, do the rest by yourself. Now, next is imperative sentences. Throw the ball. Active. Let the ball be thrown. Passive. The ball should be thrown. Passive. Open the book. Active. Let the book be opened. Passive. The book should be opened. Passive. In imperative sentences, active voice the sentence begins with the root form of the verb, throw, open, passive voice, let, plus object, plus be, plus past participle form of the verb, let the ball be thrown, let the book be opened, object, plus should be, plus past participle form of the verb, the ball should be thrown, the book should be opened. Now students, change the following sentences from active voice to passive voice. Bring the pen. The pen should be brought by you. So in this way, Change the following sentences by yourself. So that's all from this chapter. Bye-bye kids. Take care.